another pleasant evening here in central Illinois. However, we still need rain and storm tracker radar, unfortunately, not showing us any. And it's probably going to look like this for the next couple of days, folks. So if you're anywhere in this yellow box, go ahead and start taking cover because it's going to drop to the south and east and push some heavy wind right out in front of it. Route 36, and you see scenes like this. Buildings literally destroyed and just torn apart. You drive one block north, though, and you don't see any damage. Look at those grain bins, completely untouched. And watch this really pile up. Eight inches of snow possible. Dave, this family does consider themselves very lucky. They were hit with something similar to what I'm standing in here in Urbana. Things like this were flying around. A bit of a cool down in store. And let me show you what I mean by that. This is future track, kind of a Midwest view, showing you the temperatures. We had 70s today. We're expecting 70s for Wednesday as well. But notice the cool air really starting to filter out of the northern plains into central Illinois. There is a chance that some of you will see some showers today. Some are like, again, 91 Taylorville, 91 Charleston, Mattoon, 91 in Effingham. Coming up, I'll let you know when you can take about 50 degrees off these temperatures. Champagne, just over three tenths of an inch decay about three tenths of an inch, Effingham about an inch and a quarter, and then Mattoon at three quarters of an inch. So kind of a widespread, depending on where you were, the further south you were, the more rain you did see. Now, meteorologist Derek Faber with Storm Tracker Weather. Well, Storm Tracker Radar, a bit on the busy side tonight. You can see the rain that is starting to quickly move away at about 30 miles an hour. So show you this a little bit closer. Bloomington, Lincoln, Springfield, and even Decatur within the next few minutes, you're going to be dry for the rest of the evening. How much rain did this leave behind? Well, that light blue color you see there is about a half an inch. And then you get into the darker blues you see south here of Taylorville. I'll point it out right there. And then you get into greens. Those are an inch or so. So most places north of 36, not seeing more than a half inch of rain. South of there where, well, generally they have more moisture in the soil, they're seeing a little bit more water. So this is still not enough to get us out of the drought conditions that we're currently in. By the way, the drought monitor comes out tomorrow morning. You can check it out on IllinoisHomePage.net first thing tomorrow morning. Here's a look at temperatures across the area. 54 now Champaign-Urbana, 54 Decatur, 55 in Taylorville and the same in Springfield. Winds from the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour ushering in a bit of a change across the area. You may notice it's already a bit chilly and it's going to be chilly for the next couple of days. Here's a look at your satellite and radar and you can see these showers really racing off to the east. This morning they were where they were supposed to be which was south of 36 and they moved a little bit further northward as the day went on. Mostly light showers to the north. They are moving eastward but notice the clearing line now already southeast of the Quad Cities and heading in our direction. We'd like the clouds to stick around because more cloud cover for tonight would mean warmer conditions. But as I'm going to show you here on future track, that will not be the case. There goes the moisture along with the clouds. And by midnight, I think the entire viewing area will be clear. Now, as we head into tomorrow and the next couple of days, the only way you can tell this map is animating is by the clock because we have mostly sunny skies. Then we will start to see some clouds push back into the area as we head into Friday morning. Both tomorrow morning and Friday morning look to be clear, but also on the chilly side. As a matter of fact, here's the big chill pushing in from Canada. I showed this last night to you. You can see the cold air settling across the northern half of Illinois. And then as we head into the weekend, we start watching warmer air trying to build back in. And we will warm up as we head into next week. Your forecast for tonight, clearing skies, getting chilly. I can't believe I had to put a 30 on the forecast. One or two places getting down to the upper 30s for tonight. North winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Sunny skies, cooler than normal for tomorrow. 62 will be your high. Northeast wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. So you'll notice the wind from time to time. Southern part of our viewing area, Charleston, Mattoon, Shelbyville, Casey, Paris, and Effingham, partly cloudy and clearing skies later once we get the rain out of here. 42, your overnight low. And for tomorrow, sunny and fall-like, 65 will be the high, a bit on the breezy side. Seven-day forecast, if you're looking for the warm-up, well, it's there. It'll be there by Monday, 82, with a chance of showers and thunderstorms, and another chance by next Wednesday. But the weekend, a little on the cool side in the 70s and morning lows, Saturday morning anyways, in the 40s. So two mornings in a row where we're going to be in that up for 30, lower 40 degree range, and you both are looking at me like you don't even want me to talk about it. Anymore. Well, I so, thought we yeah, said yeah, we don't talk, talk about, about a 30. It. Yeah, exactly. I tried. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I tried my hardest. Well, parents uh, are going to be looking for jackets now. You know, oh, yeah. Do the jackets It'll fit be cool for the kids? The bus stop, and they're yeah. not going to.